The handling of user verification on social media platforms has often been a contentious issue, sometimes treated lightly. However, a recent investigation by the Tech Transparency Project, TTP, has brought a serious concern to the forefront. It has revealed a troubling discovery, the offering of premium subscriptions on X, formerly Twitter, to individuals and organizations under U.S. sanctions, including members of the terrorist organization Hezbollah. X, formerly known as Twitter, allowed 28 sanctioned accounts to purchase blue check marks according to the TTP report. It was found that 28 accounts associated with sanctioned entities were granted check marks under Elon Musk's paid verification system. This essentially allowed them to bypass the restrictions designed to prevent them from receiving such privileges. The verified accounts included notable figures and organizations exposing a significant flaw in X's verification process. The platform, long a vital tool for global communication, is now at the center of a debate regarding the responsibility that social media companies bear in ensuring their services are not misused by sanctioned or potentially harmful entities. Elon Musk Twitter This issue goes beyond merely failing to filter out ineligible users. It raises questions about the role of social platforms in the broader context of national security and public safety. The Supreme Court's ruling last year, which relieved Twitter of responsibility for aiding a terrorist attack, illustrates the complexity of assigning liability to social networks. However, the case of selling verification to sanctioned parties presents a distinct concern, sparking worries about direct financial transactions with entities prohibited from such engagements in the U.S. X's response to the TTP's findings was to retract most of the verifications after the fact, indicating a reactive rather than proactive approach to complying with sanctions laws. This incident highlights the wider challenges that social media platforms encounter in balancing open access with the necessity to prevent their tools from being exploited by entities with potentially harmful intentions. This incident demands a thorough review of verification procedures and a more stringent enforcement of policies to prevent sanctioned entities from benefiting from social media services. As the digital landscape diversifies, so does the obligation of platforms to ensure they are not facilitating risky activities in any capacity.